Hello YouTube family, Teacher Amanda here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about using TPR. TPR stands for Total Physical Response. TPR is one of the most important elements of online teaching. This is because you are very limited in teaching. You are limited to the area in which your camera can capture. So if you sit in your screen perfectly still, your student will struggle. So let's look at why. There are two main components of TPR, instructional and responsive. When you use instructional, it is to communicate with your students. The quickest way to stunt an ESL student is to frustrate them. When content goes from instructional to frustrational levels, your student is likely to shut down and they will not be able to absorb as much content as their energy will likely be going elsewhere. That's why we communicate with our students using not only verbal commands, but also TPR. When I was in college, a professor created their own language to teach us. They taught the whole class in a language that no one understood but them. They did this to show us how hard it may be to be a student who knows no English coming into class. What it could be like to reach frustrational. It was eye-opening. So I've decided to speak to you in my own language to demonstrate the importance of using TPR on a smaller scale. So welcome to your first day of class. Beepo. Bop, lip, be, Amanda. Boo, beep, bop, bleep. You caught that, right? Or maybe not. As you may have noticed without TPR, things can be a bit confusing. Let's try this again. Beep, bo, bop, bleep, be, Amanda. Boo, beep, bop, bleep. Better, right? It was clear to see I was introducing myself and I wanted to know who you were. This is very basic TPR. This is instructional, a great way to utilize this with a new student with no too little English skills is in steps. Engage the student. Beep. 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 Or maybe in English. Hello. Hello. Hello? So if this wasn't enough reason to use TPR, here is some more information of why else we should be using TPR. Speaking and doing action helps make neurological connections. TPR in the classroom is linked to increased memory and deeper understanding of content. This is due to increased oxygen to the brain, as well as beginning to form four connections from the student. We are creating a visual, audio, verbal and physical connection for that student. Demonstrating and saying the word are your visual and audio. Your student repeating and doing the action back has created a physical and verbal connection. The more connections your student can make with the word, the better. They will remember vocabulary better. They will have a deeper understanding of it and overall, the better your student will perform. Here are a few examples of good TPR. Building rapport with your students is super important. If you build rapport with your students, you'll build trust with them, they'll take more risks and feel more comfortable. When I'm teaching a lesson, I often use TPR to ask students if they like something we are learning about. I share with them what I enjoy and like as well. Sometimes it leads to giggles and fun. One way I do this is to ask them if they're enjoying something that we're learning about. For example, if you're learning about dinosaurs, you may ask, do you like dinosaurs? And make sure to teach them these responses. Yes, I do, or no, I do not. Others I use a great deal are, I see a dinosaur. What do you see? What do you see? These are just a few other things I use for TPR in my classroom. Can you read this? If they aren't quite getting it, sometimes I just have to whip out a book. Can you read this? And then I'll underline what I want them to read. I also use the TPR. What do you think? Hmm. What do you think? I also use the TPR, what sound does it make when I'm doing phonics? Of course, these aren't the only things you can use for TPR. 
how many? Or how old are you? There are several things you can use for TPR. Your imagination is the limit. As long as it makes sense and you're consistent. Well, that is all. Thank you again for watching my channel. If you want more information on TPR, please click the links below. If you have not yet taken the plunge with DadaABC.com, I encourage you to do so. Feel free to use my referral link down below. Please like and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks again. We'll see you next time on DadaABC.com.